<laughs> we never get to see you drink on camera. I know, camera. you were supposed to wait till I actually... I oh, all right. Good morning, Keela. Good morning, Jackie. Thank you for the coffee. You're welcome. What are, what are you drinking? Mm. A skinny vanilla latte. Mm. Okay. Did they know me? Or no, no, they knew nothing, so I... Mm. They didn't react appropriately to mm. your complicated okay. drink order, which would have made things so much easier, but they didn't. Okay. So I was a little worried that they didn't get it right. We're off to a bumpy start, but the coffee is good. Thank you. Why are we off to a bumpy start? Well, maybe because with the coffee, like it, it wasn't magic. Like you didn't pull up and then they just say, oh, oh here's oh, Jackie's right. coffee. No, it was not that way. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I guess I should have led with, hi, I'm ordering Jackie's coffee. Do you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> in that voice too. right right Hi. and then they can say oh of course we do you mean the beautiful complicated coffee woman order we haven't even said what we are or who we are yeah. hi we're catty jacks i'm, I'm jackie i'm caitlin and this is caitlin <laughs> and this is jackie <laughs> didn't you just say i'm jackie and... i know but i kind of interrupted you so i wanted to do it again That's give you so a lot of space generous of you <laughs> <laughs> we are off to an exceptional start. We here. had a new viewer last time, like a brand new viewer. Hi. Oh, I mean, I think we've had several because actually we've had some questions that I think maybe we'll try to address oh. and answer during this podcast sure. because people are like, what about this? What about that? We like to say this is a knitting podcast. Yeah, but I, right. I, I mean, there it, is, you spy knitwear in the background. Yeah, There's but that's, sweater. that's for There's later. Some yarn up yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there's some um, hat ties hanging off the You're ceiling. You're the only one that can okay. see those things. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, yes, we um, our podcast is primarily about knitting, but also about all the things we love, right? Exactly. I mean, why limit ourselves to just knitting? We have expansive joys, right? Yes. And and. We're so glad that you're here with yeah, us today. Yeah. And, and so did you say where we are? We're in Madison, Wisconsin this time. Yep. So I'm visiting. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we travel back and forth thanks to our patrons mm -hmm. um, uh, who allow us to be able to see each other and bring you content on a regular basis. So this time it was back here. We had one in between in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, now this yeah. is where it all started. This is my bedroom. In this bedroom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is where our relationship has formed. Well, not our relationship. <laughs> our relationship didn't start in my bedroom. Yeah. It started over 25 years you ago. You know, okay. And so just because we just said that, let's just talk okay. about that because okay. that is one of the questions okay. and why segue back to it. So, so we've had some people say, tell us like how you met and how you two know each other, how, how this came to be. And um, I, up until the last two and a half years, have lived in Madison, and Jackie and I have known each other since I was 26 and you were 25, which was only like- I was 24. 24, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, we met at a store called Orange Tree Imports, which is a local um, family-owned business that has been here for like, now 40 plus yeah. years which is crazy and uh i was working there before jackie and we were interviewing people and jackie was one of our um candidates and i still remember what i wore oh i still well yeah we should talk about that so we the way it was set up for our interviews it was a very democratic process that the entire um orange tree staff got to interact with our candidates and ask them questions in and director's we, chairs. yeah we sat in tall director's chairs sort of in this um Circle. Uh, yeah, circle. And Jackie walked in and in her Jackie way, you know, let's say she, I don't know, sachet is not the right word, but you know how to own a room in terms of walking in. Yes, you do. Okay. You okay, do. I'll just say yes. And but... um, not only that, but she sat down and she had at this point in her life, quite a sock collection, not mm -hmm. hand knit socks, no. but adorable socks where they were like striped or little flowers or like that was kind of part of your signature style. Do you remember the jumper was like linen rayon? It was beige and it had like crisscross straps oh, I remember and that. this nice yeah. pocket and yeah. it had pockets down here and you just wear it with a little white t-shirt and cute socks and clogs. Do you remember your socks? I don't think you had I, clogs on. Just some sort of florally thing. Yeah. Yeah, they were no, adorable. I don't remember but I do remember I remember we need to hire her because she's so darn cute. And um, it was, it didn't take long for us to discover that we 
loved all the same things. <laughs> and and um, and then it was your idea to take a knitting class together. And so it was. Yeah, I didn't I, know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were like, let's do this. Okay. You're always the like idea person. I like go resist, resist. We took so many classes together, yes. like sewing classes, yes. cooking classes. And it's a miracle that we stuck with the knitting class. Yes. We'd often take a class, go to the first session and then just say, let's uh, just go do whatever. Yeah, let's just go shopping or let's right. go antiquing or something. Right, yeah. right. Right. So um, anyway, we took a, cla a knitting class and I, we both Do you remember cardigans. that feeling of just sitting there with your, Ugh, and like going, tight. wait, come back to yeah. me. Wait, and I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and we knit cardigans. Sweaters, right? Cardigans away. as our In first bouclet. thing. In bouquet. Yeah, which is so crazy. Like, who starts knitting with cardigans? But maybe that's... Good for us, right? Right, yeah. And it was cute. I love mine. It was like this crazy, soft green boucle. Anyway, that's that's sort of how it started. Um, and then we knit for many years, knitting for our, my one baby, your, your two babies eventually. And then you sort of, whatever, I won't speak for your trajectory, but that's that's sort of the essence of our friendship. We've had a lot of life experiences that we've shared together, that we've moved through together. And, that we keep moving through together. Right, yes. Yeah. So, um, and that's, I think, the beauty of what, I think that's what people respond to when they tune in. We've had people who are like, I don't even knit, but I like, you know, mm -hmm. the interaction, because this is, this is who we are, and uh, we're sensitive souls that, uh, you know, for crazy whatever reasons have decided to put ourselves out here in this platform mm -hmm. so be gentle with us please <laughs> <laughs> um because um people you know, are so kind they are they are they are yeah. so so kind but anyway so that's that's the um that's the the background yeah and so. and i think that segues perfectly to life transitions right because we have some crossover with that too right? yes yeah. so I have decided not to go back to the classroom this fall and I want to take a moment to really honor everybody in the profession of education, um, everybody in the profession of healthcare, mm -hmm. everybody in the profession of working at a dry cleaning sure. or working at a restaurant and just work right now mm -hmm. has really transformed in this country. Yeah and people's needs are so great right now and and i am a human in that mix and i found that i needed to take a break from teaching <clears throat> and so this is my first fall in my adult <laughs> life that it's not back to school yeah you'd be in meetings right now <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, right uh -huh. right and i'm very eager to to allow myself the opportunity to show up in new ways mm -hmm. and, and not the same way. And, and I really, really treasure my experiences as a teacher and my time in the classroom and the human beings. My life has, will never be the same. And it doesn't have to remain the same. Right, right. Change is good, and, can be good. Right, but I honestly haven't I've had a hard time considering how to share that because I, I do hold it as like a sacred mm -hmm. um, trust and sure. vocation, and I treasure that time. And yeah. uh, but it, but I needed to make a change. Yes. <laughs> and um, and it was a very very fascinating thing. Uh, Lily and I went out. She finished her semester, and we went out for sushi, and then we went and did a little shopping. And I walked into this store that I hadn't been into for a long time called Twigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I flipped out. I, somehow between, you know, the pan, I don't think I'd been in there the whole sure, pandemic. Sure. And somehow all the experiences I've had with Caddy Jacks mm -hmm. and um, getting to meet people and travel and see, I guess, I think my lens got broadened mm -hmm. so much through mm -hmm. doing this. Sure. And then to see a store that I've always known, and I'll say why I've always known it through this new lens, really was exciting. Mm -hmm. And why did I always know this store? Well, so the, what's I think so beautiful about this is that when you talk about transitions, and we didn't really talk about this too mm -hmm. much, but 
Um, Twigs came into my life in a major transition period for me. I had my daughter Isabella, she was two and a half years old and she was just starting preschool and I had been home full time with her. I had mm -hmm. used to work at Orange Tree until I had Isabella mm -hmm. and then was uh, fortunate enough to be able to be home with Isabella for two and a half years and then I was like, I need to do something when I drop her off at preschool, um, what can I do? And through our orange tree connection, I met Jen and Van, who are the owners of Twigs, and I ended up, they were building- Because it was down the street from orange well, tree. Well, they hadn't even started oh. it yet. So when oh, I- that's right. So when, when oh, this came right. to be, Twigs didn't actually exist. We used to work with um, our- Siblings. Jen, yeah, uh, Jen has a sibling who worked at orange tree, and Jen was moving back to Madison and was thinking about what she was going to do and she was going to open a store and had said to her um, sister like do you know anybody who like knows retail and you know who I might click with blah 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 anyway so Jen and I were introduced and then it was like oh the gates opened and mm -hmm. um, and I ended up managing their store for I, I think close to three years and it it so I was at the beginning stages of where the position, you know, the store evolved from, and then they've come a very long way, and now they're at a new location, and you walked into sort of this new iteration that is not part of my existence with Twigs, um, but I right. had some introductions to Jen and Van and said, you need to meet the most fabulous woman that ever walked the planet. And she happens to be my best friend, oh, too. Well, So, um, I mean, I did put a good word in. You did. I mean, you did put a yes. good word in. And, and and you put a good word in for them, too. Like, and oh, sure. how much she treasures and loves oh, them. Oh, so, yeah, yeah they, absolutely. Yeah, they, they are part of my family, too, because they really right. did see me through a lot of things too. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So so chap this chapter is really there's a lot of of Jen and Van and Twigs in this chapter. Yeah. Because it's a it's funny because again, I think we've said this to you for years on this channel. It's about who we love, mm -hmm. not stuff. Right. Like stuff stuff is nothing without the energy inside of it. Mm -hmm. So so anyways, I am working with them now and I am working yay <laughs> I'm working um on promoting twigs and sharing twigs both in the store and online and and I really think I, I have all of you to thank for that mm -hmm. because we have discovered that <clears throat> how you feel about yourself and aesthetics and slowing down mm -hmm. to notice these things and appreciate these things and reflect on what you want to bring into your life right really is worth doing sure and we haven't ahead. really said what twigs is so maybe you need oh, to describe it i'm sure. just realizing we're in our heads about oh, that. oh we're yeah. in our heads about that mm -hmm. so twigs is a, it's a shop that's online and then it's a store here in madison and then there's one in brookfield and it has clothing and shoes and perfume and candles sounds and like a terrible place to spend and time scarves right? and earrings <laughs> and and those things are like the like the flower garden mm -hmm. that bring in mm -hmm. all these wonderful people right so it's just buzzing with people who are interested in let's see what's there and it's so wonderful because it's basically it's funny how kindergarten is a garden of children yes. twigs is yeah. like jen's garden of delights yeah. and the thing is is she curates brands that we've love that we see from you'll mm -hmm. see them all over the internet they're sure. you know they're national brands and it's and you get to see them interact with yeah, each other yeah it's just be beautifully curated jen jen really is an absolute artist creative um and she has the ability to express herself both in how she displays things and draws you into like the interaction of that mm -hmm. and also how she pulls it all together to make other people feel that yes. sort of joy and aesthetic and yes. yeah so it's it's a good experience so absolutely um, so a few things are happening for for instance right now you'll see, um Jen and I started recording some uh stories on YouTube on another channel which I will link below because 
it's really we I felt like it was really important to introduce mm -hmm. her to the world because she's got so many stories yeah. and so much to share. And literally, um there as we know with our knits, and this is the big this is why knitting helped me um, be in a position to do this. We know all the decisions that go into each one of our knits, <laughs> mm -hmm. the color choices, mm -hmm. the silhouettes, the fit, etc. And to work with and to be around designs and companies that are that intentional about mm -hmm. their products too, that and to slow down enough to find out the stories behind stuff that we didn't make ourselves but is but is worthy mm -hmm, of our attention mm -hmm. and worthy of being incorporated with our yes, hand knit yeah. wardrobes. Um, those stories it's important for those stories to come to life. Mm -hmm. Um and so that's kind of yeah one of the opportunities. Well and in addition to that, like thinking about how we how intentional we are with our knits. I think you and I are also extremely intentional about how we present them on our Instagram, on our Ravelry. You know, we spend a lot of time mm -hmm. photographing them and, mm -hmm. and, um, and I, that's a big part of what we do. And it's it doesn't necessarily come naturally. We work really hard to, you know, you, the one, the one photo you take, you could, you know, that you put up, had 50 other ones that just didn't work, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I think that we have gotten much more comfortable being out there and sort of presenting things to, you know, in a certain way that, that people gravitate towards right. and respond to. And and I think that's the secret sauce of being a knitter that yeah. all of you are yeah. learning to do too. Like yeah. we all learn yeah. from each other. I was like, take yourself. I don't want to say the word seriously, value yourself right show yourself off right and celebrate yourself sure and i think knitters know how to do that yeah. and have an avenue to do that and non-knitters not as much sure they don't have a vehicle well and what we do is so visual right we're not just knitting black sweaters right to keep ourselves warm I mean, right what right. we choose to knit is very much a visual art or an art expression in a visual way and I think we try to showcase that with our photography, too, in terms of how right. we present it. So on the continuum of self-expression, yeah. here's more. More to come. And so if you, you're you invited to go over and check out Twigs as much as you want or as little as you want. But that's where you'll find some of my energy going mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. And I'm very delighted. It feels like such a privilege. I, I, I will say, um, energy again energetically through knitting i think we've all felt this it's very expansive yeah it gives you this opportunity and not to sit home by yourself and knit but to recognize oh i have avenues to meet people mm -hmm. and once you practice meeting people you meet people who are knitters you could take that meeting people into any sure. and strike up sure. conversations and right. connect and i and that is the moment we're in culturally sure. right now is re-engaging one another. Well, and we were talking about that recently. I mean, I think you and I do this a lot, even without thinking about it. If I'm walking down the street or interacting with somebody who's, you know, handing me their coffee and they have a fabulous pair of earrings on, I always comment, always, yes, always, always. And it's not about, I just, it's funny because James always sort of, you know, laughs. That he's just like, You're, you make friends wherever you go. And it's mm -hmm. like, because if, I, if I'm if i engaging with somebody and I see that you have a beautiful lipstick or, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's, I, it doesn't always have to be an aesthetic, but generally I will comment about, oh, I love that. Or, you know, or that looks fabulous on you. And it's amazing how much that person lights up when you engage that way we all want to be seen and when we do put on a fabulous pair of earrings um or a fabulous <laughs> pair of earrings you know it's a form of expression right and and you can't see it as you're wearing it right, right. so you are sharing it so i think that's one of the things where it's also an extension of our knitting because how great do we feel when somebody compliments yeah. our knitted garment and you're like I mean, I always say, thank you, I knit that. Some people will just say thank you, but I feel like the I knit that part is a way to engage because then not about me, mm -hmm. but about like, look what people are capable of doing, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. that's, um, mm -hmm. I think we do that a lot. Like we really enjoy 
go walking down the street and looking at people and how they you know express themselves right. and right and that's a form of engagement i think you and i both really enjoy and if you want to know i mean i know this is dumb but i've been with people who are like how, how do, do you do, do that, that? Mm -hmm. so i am gonna yeah. say that you smile you look at the person yeah you notice them you smile at them and you keep looking at them yeah. with a smile yeah. until you catch their eye yes and then you are and you're in your brain while you're smiling and looking you're thinking what do i want to share with them sure and then you just it is you shatter the stranger mm -hmm. you know yeah thing and you say, excuse me, I just have to tell you, yeah. I love that scarf in your yes, hair. Yes. You, that looks so fabulous. And they, and then you mm -hmm. go from there. It is funny when you know somebody that you've caught their eye and they, and you haven't said anything yet. And you can almost see like the complexity of their thoughts. Like, why is she staring at me? Like, what? Oh, it's oh. always, like, it's always the self-defense for the most part, self-defense of it. And like, what she and then you're just like i love your blah 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 and they're like oh well, exactly they, you know it's oh, that it's so... oh there should be a term for that like right quickening because... it's a quickening right right <laughs> like... because exactly right. because yeah but it is really important to notice that yes people's habitual practices mm -hmm. self-defense oh totally and armor yes and whatnot and 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 so no wonder yeah. people don't yeah cross through that threshold right right um and yeah so, so what we're wearing today <laughs> is like things that we love yeah and what you're used to us talking about are our earrings so it was just my birthday happy birthday thank Jackie you Ray. so i have my birthday earrings on from Susie at pittsburgh mercantile they're little cupcakes yeah honestly i feel like every birthday somebody should yeah, have I know. cupcake i know earrings yeah, right? right like sparkly gemstone cupcake mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your earrings you were wearing them from our trip to knox yeah we we um, I don't know. I, we'd have to look up the brand, and we could probably find it. But uh, we bought these at a, a, an adorable shop in Tennessee called Honey Mouth, and it's a female-owned business, and she does beautiful leather work, and she curates other things um, from local artists. And these are make at, made out of polymer, so they're super light. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's but um, so to add to that today, mm -hmm. Caitlin went into Twigs with me to get reacquainted. Right. Uh, well, well and one of our absolute favorite things that we have done mm. for you, and we've talked about this on the yeah. podcast, but you know, we have sh known each other for a very long time and we have spent a lot of time in dressing rooms together. Mm -hmm. Right. And yes. we, she knows my facial expression yes. when something like Jack is this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so this. And Jack, he says, We've even gone swimming suit shopping. Together. We have. We've done it all. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think it's one of those things that we just love doing that. We'll share a dressing room, fill it up with all the clothes, try things on. Even like she'll make me try things on that I would never in my life right. put on my body except for it to be forced by Jackie Rose because she pretty much can get you to do anything. It was so funny at this recent visit because there was a woman next to us yes. that ended up being I just ended up going and getting two of everything. Yeah, she was like, here's one for Kayla and here's one and then for they'd me. Come we had very out. similar clothes ha uh hair coloring and um stature and all of that and that we had so her name was Joan. Hi Joan. I'm sure you're not watching this because we didn't have time to give you our card. <laughs> Joan's like I'm a gardener. I don't do any exactly. of this and we're like, oh you will be doing it with like cute little pair of boots and yeah. Um anyway, but so that is one of our favorite things is just just go shopping. Even if we're not gonna buy anything, it's just like the act of trying things yes. on and visualizing and all of that so we um we filled a very small dressing room with yeah. lots of clothes and this was probably what i have on probably well actually we walked in the store yeah immediately went left and this is the first thing i saw because this color yeah has been in my brain i mean look at my nails right like, i didn't paint these for it to go right. with this i have been this has been on constant right. rotation my trippy you know right. all the mob right so um so this is um a top by ula johnson and it has the most beautiful details to it i mean the ruching i mean the cuffs i mean look mm -hmm. at the 
voluminous sleeves. Yeah, I was like, gorgeous. I finally feel like Jackie when I put this on. It was like a look at that. And um, anyway, it's I it's just so, lovely. but it's so wearable. It's just with this all crisp, the shawls that you uh, have. Crisp, like, can you imagine? So good. And I, I mean, if I had to pick a spirit color, the new spirit color for me, it would be this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just sort of a smoky lavender. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I just, it makes me feel so good. Yeah. Um, and that was, that was, the, that was the first. <laughs> but what was interesting is you didn't even want to go no, that day. She no. didn't want to go in. No. And she was feeling like just Well, let's, kinda... let's say why. Because I think part of it is sometimes when you think about going and trying clothes on, we get so in our head about like, oh, how's I, I don't feel great about myself and how's mm -hmm. I going to feel to put a pair of jeans on. And um, it was so interesting that even just from the window, it was a mood lifter of... Mm delight you know mm -hmm. and then you we walked in and literally there this top was and it was like we could have stopped right there mm -hmm. gone tried this on and walked out and that would have just been right glorious but it was like oh and that and that and that and that and then with jet with you pull it being like i want to see this and this and this and this mm -hmm. because you have been in that space and been contemplating how mm -hmm. you would pair things or what you would do and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so that was mm -hmm. so fun mm -hmm. yeah um, and i would say like an ula piece i have two of them mm -hmm. that i've gotten over the years and every time i put one on yeah it's just like oh yeah and and so it's just very exciting every once in a while to have something like that right. to hold all that energy. sure yeah hold all that energy in and yeah i mean there's room in the sleeves for the energy <laughs> Can mm -hmm, hold it all in. Mm -hmm. You can keep it in there. Mm -hmm. And and I I suppose it's just glorious. So yeah, we just just we just wanted to share that with you. And if you want to see more, like <laughs> we can yeah we, we can, can show can. some more at the end. Yeah. But but, um, but please check out Twigs, and and you'll and, have links in the show notes. Yeah. Below. Yeah. Uh, but. How to engage with it is I would suggest watching the channel with Jen because yeah. I really think it's not nothing for us is ever about the thing itself. And it, she's yeah. just so wonderful. And uh, it would be wonderful for you to get to know her and give yourself the opportunity because the whole range is everything from like, see this little necklace with a J. I mean, there's just like cute, small mm -hmm. things like nail polishes, like she yeah. said, um, to obviously, you know, a leather jacket, yeah, which sure. is a huge investment. So right. there's a whole range right. because, and that's fine. That's yeah. the way life goes. Yeah. Um, delights, as we know, and I'll just, I'll say one last thing about it. I think the, the two things that are really expensive in life are time and our environment. And so clothing that takes time mm -hmm. and is good mm -hmm. to our environment. Yes it's just more expensive yeah. it just is and we and i i did not create that you know yeah. and i'm not responsible for right, that right right but it is something it's just a truism sure but i think my i i am aware of you know having been a single mother and, and, and a classroom teacher, I am aware of people's budgets mm -hmm. and, and I am aware of everybody deserving to have a story and, and value themselves and find ways to celebrate mm -hmm. themselves. And, and, and so when I tell a story, I hope I'm also always telling you a story or when we tell a story mm -hmm. that's about what the ingredients that go on into that sure. beyond the thing itself. Right. Because, for instance, this blouse, it's your spirit color, it's the transformation, it's shopping with mm -hmm, me, it's mm -hmm. the relationships, yeah. it's all yeah. of those things mm -hmm. as well. Right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways, yeah. anyway, that was a, that, that's just a really exciting thing for, for me and, and. Yeah, and, and I think you'll see um, that we're, we'll probably be bringing some elements of twigs into our podcast again it's just like when we wear melissa jenkins jewelry and mm -hmm. we just feel so strongly about it becomes part of sort of our form of expression right, right. so um anyway we we just um welcome the opportunity to 
have something else to talk about that right. we love, right? <laughs> because and, it's limitless pretty right. much. And I put this jacket yeah. on to segue to an FO. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're doing that, huh? Well, I just thought I would. Okay. So this is obviously a black denim jean jacket, but I did, and I did, it was, I think the first thing I got from Twigs and I don't have to say a lot about it other than it has these, it has, what I think I fell in love with are these beautiful seams and these frayed edges. Yeah. The cuffs are frayed and look at the buttons. And it's just this saturated black, right? It's yeah. just incredible. And to me, it seems like like power dressing mm -hmm, in a sure. casual yeah, way sure. or the third piece. And, you know, I will say with a jean jacket, really a fun way to wear it, too, is just not even on you, but just over your shoulders and just to have it to come in and out mm -hmm. of the dressing room. I mean, of, of air conditioning. So what? Why, Speaking of air conditioning. Yeah. So we've actually, for your visit, we've had some real fall weather. Yes, it's been so lovely. And Caitlin and I hung out in a coffee shop. Let's just keep going here. <laughs> we hung out in a coffee shop that had like a 14 foot table, right? Yes. And I was able to seam the Ellsworth shawl together. <laughs> I feel like we need trumpets and yeah. yes. <laughs> so, mm. the Ellsworth shawl is this magnificent... It's a shawl for you and your friend. Yeah, let's just... Oh, we should do... Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. <laughs> okay, so it's oh, this it's magnificent so graphic, and oh. it's all garter, and is it Scott Rohr who designed it, yes. who's the owner of the Yarnery in Minneapolis, St. Paul area, which we used to go to yeah. oh, in our so first... And what do you, when you block it, what do you, what do you use? I think this is the chai. Oh, I love the chai. Tuft yeah, woman's that's chai. my favorite scent. Can you smell it? Um, yeah, it's good. Right? Okay, so it's three panels. I, you've heard me talk about making it, but the actual knitting of it before, but this is garter and short rows, and then I back stitched it with the black. I figured the black would kind of look like a shadow. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I that's like it. how it looks. This is the wrong side. You know, you're going to have some seams. I love that too, though. But like, it's why like, not have that? I love that aspect that you did the black because then when it's flipped and you see it, it looks intentional. Yeah. You know, it's not no different than the seams you have going on your exactly. jacket. Yeah. So it's when Elmer and from the lamb, and, or I guess it's Diamond Lane, but Elmer is a blend of wool and cashmere. Elmer fingering. Elmer fingering. And it takes... Um, three skeins of each you need a you really need two plus mm -hmm. skeins of each but you know whatever so it's cookie and wayfarer and this is just i'm gonna put it on yeah. for a second it is just you know the oh, quintessence so of like sophistication sorry that you can't yeah. see more the hazards of our space but you know who doesn't want this mm. in their life right so it's pretty easy to knit in that you knit the three panels in the real, oh, I mean, amazing. I love uh, this it's, thing. I know. I really want it. I just don't want to knit it. <laughs> but, but it's just one day. Like once you get it all knit, we'll go to the coffee shop again. We'll reserve the table. Yeah. And people were like so sweet. Yeah. They were what like, you... can we just take a little bit of your space? Right. right. Yeah. But anyways, um, it did start a conversation with a male non knitter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, absolutely. But then yeah. there were like three people. Who oh, was, like yeah, well, drawn to the knitting. Well, one woman walked in and she was like, "Oh, it's so great to see people knitting." So right. she was clearly a knitter and was like, "Oh, right. knitters in the wild." But oh, there's so a fabulous. term for this that we that I've already forgotten. But Caitlin and I have just been talking about always wanting to have on our needles one of these old flames. Mm, yeah, and this has been an old flame. Like we've loved this for years. Yes, and I will say, how incredible to knit an old flame in. A yarn that lives up to the time that you're gonna put into sure. knitting this. So oh, for sure. I would. I do have a friend knitting it in linen quill, Macy, oh, which is a really, really, really good choice good as well. Good choice. Um, That's, and is she doing? Oh, it's fingering, so she's yeah. doing. Yeah. So it and that would be a beautiful drape. I, I adore well, it I, in this, and I. Oh yeah, I mean, um, I, I do feel like. Maybe it's the garter, mm -hmm. but it's so squishy that it doesn't, 
it feels a little bit heavier than a fingering weight and i don't mm. know if that's just the elmer itself has a little bit more it has a spongy quality it's like to a it. toothy softness oh right but I, in linen and quill it would be i mean really in any fingering weight it would be amazing but, but this is pretty yeah. spectacular but i'm staying in the camera to have it soak into your brain that you want to make this because it is <laughs> i'm an, pretty sure everybody does jackie they're like no it's but it's an it is an it is an effort and it will take time like i feel like it took me five months to make well this. right so it is it's a long yeah and if it took you five months well okay but let's but but let's put it this way you were not a monogamous no, knitter on this. So no. that has to be really right. clear. Totally. Like, this is this is definitely a big knit for anybody, but you knit probably six things sure. in conjunction sure. with it. So that's why it took so long. And right. I think you just didn't have the headspace to tackle this. Like you I have never witnessed you finish an object and take so much time to finally like block it. Right. And that's not your yeah. style. Right. So I think it's it's yeah. all of that, and it's so it's really not as tedious we were, of a piece yeah, as totally. It, yeah, it, you know what it took is we had that shift. We, last week was the shift in summer weather yes. where it yeah. cooled. You're like, I want to get to be able to wear this. Exactly. And, and you finished it exactly in the moment when you could wear it because this weather changed so quickly, and it was that first evening where it was a little bit chilly but you could wear shorts and wrap your right. you still want to wrap your right. like I don't you love yes. the shorts and sweatshirt yes. weather I feel like, like that's California they get that yeah and speaking of sweatshirt like yeah we'll show the yeah the next part of true but yeah. I just want to say that I highly highly recommend knitting this in cookie and wake yes or on Elmer because I do think it is... That has to be on my list. I have to say, it was originally... And don't... Whatever. Good. I have originally tried it on in the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Tweed. Tweed. It's not... Is it Loft, the fingering? I think so. And it had... It was the glorious... It was yeah. this glory, but it didn't have this feel. So the graphic and the feel yeah. combined makes this a lifetime piece that you will not yeah. regret for sure. For two seconds having right, in your right, life right and the big i will say um and i would love it if somebody did it there is a temptation in with this shawl to oops I got it, to maybe do a triangle here or there that's like oh yellow like one or color hot yeah or whatever for sure and um and i, I honestly I, I could, I'm saying this right here, but I could knit another one. Cookie's the most incredible mm, basic. It really is right? so beautiful. So, and then sometimes Sarah does um, hand dyes too on yes. Elmer. So, like, I've seen her have, like, a little taffy or a little pop rocks. Yeah. I mean, or she's done... Or um, fetch or something like that. Yeah. So, this is the Ellsworth shawl. And, oh my God. I'm just right? curious, like, though, like, do that. you think as a you smaller guys. stature person... Do you think two panels would, I mean, no, like, okay. I don't know, but I, I'm just I, curious, like, cause like, you right. get, there's so much graphic quality. I, yeah. Anyway, sometimes fabric like that is hard for everybody to feel like they can They're, wear easily. Well, the design, I, I guess I just, found, somehow I feel like two is a little wrong like the design does come in one and so i would be more inclined to do a single oh, panel and they do have two. and the pattern is written that way yeah isn't it it? Is. don't they show it as a like yeah. and even the the how much yarn and all of that yeah, yeah they show it as yeah. a single and then they show it as a trio a mm -hmm. so again i guess the only thing i would say is i blocked each one of these pieces mm -hmm. um separately yeah and then i like I said, backstitch sure. to put them together. Yeah. But that's the Ellsworth shawl. So beautiful. Yeah, and that's an FO, and Caitlin will have another FO in just a moment. What are you wearing, Caitlin? Oh, well, I'm wearing my new FO, which is the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knit. And in case you're just tuning in now, I have a total Ascot scarf obsession going on because I knit um, the... Um, itsy bitsy ascot recently on um some previous podcasts and fell in love with that that was knit in the round mm -hmm. this one is by petite knit who absolutely knows classics like 
no one's business. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't checked out Petite Mitt, please do, because she just has the most glorious, um, simple, but elegant um, designs. And this, she has in two different sizes. And oh, can I, show I the other one? Yep, and I knit them in two different weight yarns. So the first one actually is the one Jackie has. And that one is knit out of DK weight yarn. And, and that's what the pattern calls for. And I knit it out of Lamb and Kid Todd in the lilac colorway, mm. which I have to say, again, is my latest obsession. Look at it on you and look at it with black. I mean, right? it's just fabulous. So this color, I, oh, so cute. <laughs> um, so oh, love, this, Caitlin. This is one of those projects that if you just need a little something, a little lift, a little lift or you just need something to, you know, when you finish a big project and you mm -hmm. just like have that like hangover where you right. just, you know, you want to knit something else, but you don't quite know what, I'm sorry, this is that perfect project for that. So yeah, you can wear it as a hair tie. I did a little video that I posted on our grid of sort of all the ways I wear it, whether it's tied like this worn in the oh, hair, so cute. tied on a handbag handle. Oh, right. Um, you know, I'm not just so... i it with the earrings Yeah, so but much, still, but... the color is really good on mm -hmm. you. So, uh, this took hardly any yarn. It, um, I want to almost say you could probably get away with a mini. So, I, I had le some leftover lamb and kid Todd. So, Todd is yak and cashmere so mm. it's 65 percent yak and then 35 percent cashmere and the drape it has is spectacular so that's one of the things oh oh no. can i say and, something yeah you know how somebody who was it your friend that we had um breakfast with yesterday was betsy? like what betsy yeah oh, sorry betsy she doesn't watch <laughs> anyway okay. um she was saying, what do you do with your leftovers? Don't you feel like you should knit one of these for every sweater leftover? Oh, like, totally. And oh, have a yeah, whole, like, a little ensemble to yeah, go with it. Or, yeah, yeah, because the one we uh, just knit, the Badger and Blue, yes. to be able to also, like, whoa, yeah. you know, or whatever. I'm well, sorry. we're all about accessorizing our yeah. knits. And this, so, and then this was my second one, and I knit this out of Elmer mm -hmm. um, fingering. So Elmer is merino and cashmere. And we um, use stand up so yeah. they can see. And um, or stand back, yes. We'll see. Sometimes you need to sit on the bed. So oh, it's just what's great about it is you can wear it a number of different ways. Like I tend to like mine sort of knotted twice. I wish you um, could get away with knotting it once. Well, you can. So that's oh. the thing about this oh, pattern. That's right. You can decide how long you want to knit it. So I, I feel like it's one of those things that my second time, actually, I feel like when I started this one, right, I already it. modified the pattern. So I'll show you. Um, she calls for DK weight yarn, and I think her, um, she called for maybe 28 stitches across, which I knew from knitting the Itsy Bitsy Ascot, how, or even the little dandy mm -hmm. scarves that we wear. I wear scarves a lot. Right. The Jackie and, and the dandy from and, the little project. Yeah, I don't know if I have one here, have but, one, but. Um, yeah, let's just show the, so I knew the width that I cared for when it was on my neck, and this, and I actually compared it to that as I was knitting it. Um, because I knew, you know, I know how I like it to feel on my mm, neck. Mm -hmm. So I would just encourage you follow the pattern, but then also just figure out what works for you. Right. So I did less I did do it like this pretty much. Yep. Width. Yep. So I, as I was going, what happens is you're doing, um, increases and then you get to a point where. Um, you're, you're knitting straight. And so when I got to the knitting straight part, I just decided I would like kind of put it on and go, where's halfway? And I would start to just knot it and figure out sort of where I wanted it and then calculated, this sounds so deep, but it really wasn't. I knew that this Mm -hmm. section here the taper. the taper she even notes that you know you want to stop when it's inches. you know you're three inches away from the end and so I just sort of estimated okay I know how long the taper is going to be and so where do I need to stop for it to feel like a good halfway point so I intentionally was going to knit the smaller one and then it ended up measurement wise like her longer this one I actually even did 
not as wide as this one because I felt like this was still wider than I wanted. So I knit, I think, 18 stitches across. And you across. put these in your project I did. Notes. I did update my project notes. I would just say this is one of those projects, though, where you, you don't have to, like... How many stitches did you have, Caitlin? And what? Did, how did you like? Because your gauge will be different. Your gauge too. is different, and it's such an easy thing. And if you mess it up a little bit, you just rip it back. Yeah. And all it is is um, you do this beautiful little I cord edging, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. essentially Attached not you know I you're just not, not knitting the last three stitches and you're pulling your yarn to the front. And it's so like it, what people did with the half and half. Exactly. It's such a simple thing to do. It's such a beautiful finished edge, and. I promised you you were going to be seeing a million FOs. Like every time I'll be like, oh, which one? Right. Because I imagine I having a little beautiful bowl on my dressing table and have them like right. sitting there and going, oh, what's my finished, like what little finishing touch? So we do want to introduce a hashtag. We do. Yes. And the hashtag is hashtag how do you ask God? <laughs> And we say it. We get, remember our little Abbott and Costello? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Let's we'll check. do that later. Anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, not? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Like, Let's, okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. How do you ask Scott? How do I ask Scott what? No, how. Who's Scott? How do you ask Scott? I don't know how to ask Scott. I don't know who he is. Not who is he? Not Scott, Caitlin. Oh. How do you ask Scott? Do you wear it on your neck? Oh. Do you wear it in your hair? How do, do I ask Scott? Oh, well, there are so many ways to yes. ask Scott. Like this. You could tie it on your wrist. Oh, how do you ask right? Scott? Right? How do you ask Scott? <laughs> I mean, if it was a little shorter, you could do it on your wrist. You could tie it on your friend. Mm. Right? Oh, okay. Could, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop oh. that. She's making noises. That <laughs> okay. Are... Anyway. You could use it as a blindfold. You could. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing it once. I know. No, here we go. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not. And we're editing, editing this part out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Edit, edit. Anyway. Edit. Anyway. So, how do you ask us? Yes. Because we would love to see you at Rhinebeck mm -hmm. in your ascots. Yes. So, we will be wearing ascots. We will. So, and we will have more information about sort of starting this informal knit along. Um, but... And when we say we see you at Rhinebeck, like we know that there are people that will not be traveling to Rhinebeck. So we're always looking w at ways to have our community be expanded and feel like you can be at home and mm -hmm. knitting yours. So we'll have more details about it. But um, but we do have to have like a hashtag and a prize around Rhinebeck of weekend course, for yeah, everybody oh, of course, around the right. world. So we'll, right? have, we'll have something on Ravelry where you can post it and then we'll, we'll draw from there. So everybody is able to play a part. But... Um, you know, if you have been looking for an opportunity to just dabble in um, an approachable uh, quantity of lamb and kid, you can get away with one skein of Todd. And mm -hmm. it's this is a different color, but, um, you know, one skein, you can knit several. So you can knit one for yourself and you can knit one for a friend. I feel like this would mm, be the perfect, perfect holiday gift. gift. Um, so easier than socks. Totally. There's only one. I feel like that you and was, a friend could twin. Oh, and you'd be like, so yeah. cute. Yeah. So, or you buy a color, she buys a color. You do. You could do so many fun things. Right. Like knit halfway one color, knit halfway the other, stripe it. Right. Um, endless. Totally endless, and really like one skein. Um, so, if you want um, sort of that experience, we all know how much I love cozy. There is something so. Um, I'd say grounding in when I just put this on mm, around my mm. neck in like the most sensitive mm, area and just oh, have a little bit yeah. of cashmere and yak. I, I don't know. So even just tying it on my handbag and having it something that I can touch is, mm -hmm. is just joyous to me. Well, I um, feel like, and it's also just that like, I'm a knitter signature yeah, exactly. bling. exactly. Like, just have it tucked in. Oh, it's so like, good. Look at that. You don't yeah. even need to have a whole no, look at shawl. That. No. And you just have this little pop of color. Love it. Right? How amazing is she? No, um, or speak, well, you're, or, you, how amazing are you? Well, for anyway, and can we just what, talk I about, say, what are you wearing? I, I, I mean, I talk about sit on the bed again. touching yourself. Um, no, this is one of the things, uh, the pieces that we I found to. at Twigs when we were shopping. And it is pleather, um, <laughs> and 
it is so adorably like um just the details on it with this sort of seam down the front these little puff sleeves it is lined like the inside of it is so soft like that, sort of that i basically have it against my skin without a tank top underneath it and it feels so good and it's a very affordable piece it's by steve madden right yeah this is our second run because yeah. the first weekend we got it it left the oh store so there's a black version and then and this a is oh, kind of the cone oh, mm -hmm. honestly it would be very easy to be like i want one in each color mm -hmm. but i am so well, happy with this layered under your knits too, oh like, totally because it's so cool sometimes to have um different texture yeah because the light plays off the leather and oops, oops sorry there was anyways the light plays off the leather and so you get some sheen yes with the yeah oh like, yeah i love the play Which, of yeah well even just like this together right exactly. yeah exactly so, so good so anyway good. um so what's the hashtag ha you say it no no we have to test oh you, caitlin just well, then to make I, sure it's memorable I, it's not because i was not focused really yeah what is it how do you ask oh god? how do you ask god <laughs> hashtag how do you ask god <laughs> or how do you ask Scott? How do you ask Scott? Hashtag, how do you ask Scott? We can have a separate one. What do you ask Scott? <laughs> what do you ask? <laughs> okay, we're going to let you okay. play with that. Okay. Um, but, anyway, so those are my FOs. And say the pattern again. This it's is the Petit. Sophie Scarf by Petite Knit. Um, how do you ask Sophie? How do you no. ask Sophie to ask Scott? <laughs> <laughs> it can be a whole oh, drama. So good. Look at these two colors together, though. No, I mean, really it's just good. so really good. good. Okay. So good. So that's a, a knit along for you to play with. Yes. With us, and we would love it. Come play along. And we'd love Will to. Will you ask Scott with us? <laughs> We're going to need you? to find a Scott for I know. Is your name Scott? Are you ask? Are you Scott? Scott? <laughs> How do you ask Scott? How do you ask Hashtag. Scott? Hashtag. Okay. Hi. Hi. We're back. With another. <laughs> outfit change right yeah My, um yeah no you're picking off here yes so i have an fo and it's called the penelope t i i couldn't help i had to put this on what is this one called do we is remember that the satellite shawl the satellite shawl mm -hmm. this was By just Andrea mallory yeah this was an old knit but like and our, those were her original colors all yeah, in this lobby is the MMA. lobby and the may kit which some oh she still yeah. sells oh yeah she still sells. it's that yoki yellow that's just yeah. so incredible yeah short this is kind of like the combo of these three knits because it's know. short rows too crazy yeah let me see but anyways we needed to give that a moment to come out again um because those i would say are my spirit colors mm. very much like oh yeah oh. love that oh mm. perfect okay can i wear it yeah can absolutely it absolutely podcast? so this is the penelope t oh can we wait can we just say oh it's so freaking fabulous on you. Oh, so thank fabulous. You. And I, I just, it's fabulous. Thank you. So I'm going to mm. flash the pattern. Uh, Julie Robinson, is that Wandering the, Flock. Is that the designer's photo? Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And this is exactly the same. I just reversed <laughs> the colorways. Yeah. So she has in here as her main color, the rose and citron is the contrast color and i put citron as the main color is it citron or citrine oh citrine you're yeah. right so and by wandering flock by wandering flock so it's um it's designed with negative ease mine doesn't really mine has just doesn't have negative ease it just doesn't have positive ease and it's a cropped little t-shirt and it really does have a stunning sort of garter slip stitch pattern which I think I've talked about before mm -hmm. but the slip stitch allows you to have garter because you can't have panels of stockinette and panels of garter because they have a different row gauge Brilliant. But, yes so she was able to figure out how to make vertical stripes without having to do intarsia and it I it had a little short row shaping in the bust and then it also has saddle shoulders you can see the saddle shoulders there and it has a little shaping up in here do you see how the stripe gets wider to mm -hmm. hold the shoulder together and i guess i'll show you the back so sure you can see how this see stripe kind of, of yeah it's beautiful. you do have to hand sew you know your your shoulders in mm -hmm. and 
what do I want to say about it? You know, it's, I, well, it's, the, I, I would say the yarn itself, it's single ply mm -hmm. and it has such a softness to it. And mm -hmm. it really actually, as I'm sitting next to it, has a halo too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to come yeah. so you can, I'll come up here so you can see more of the garment while we talk. Yeah. So, um, it is, I think I know, I know I used maybe just one skein of each. It might be possibly two skeins and one, but it certainly only needed one skein of the yellow. And I, and what it is, and is did my- And did you crop, like, is, did no, you knit it to their side? So, the Cause side. I bought two and I don't mm -hmm. need the second yeah, one. Yeah, that's so beautiful. But did you knit it, like, did to you- To specification. You did, it, cause it's a very cropped, small. Mm -hmm. So yeah, of course you'd only need a little bit of yarn, but yeah. And people said that I modified the neckline. See, her neckline is much closer than mine. I did not. This was me following the pattern. And I noticed on people's Ravelry pages, they mostly came up with a neckline like this. So if you want a neckline like that, you will have to be, I, to me, it looks, it looks deeper than this. Mm -hmm. um, but I suppose... So for me, this is quite a wide neckline. I know we've talked about this, but I- Caitlin loves this part of the body. I, I mean, I love the collarbone and mm -hmm. I think what we talked about is you you have small shoulders. So right. when you do a wide neckline, you feel like things fall off or it's not gonna fit appropriately. Right. Like to, but this to me, I wouldn't categorize that as a wide neckline. It's a wide neckline based on the original design right. because you liked that up close to your neck. Right, I always tight. like that. Um, but I bet if I put that on, it would feel like a small neckline. Right. You know. So I personally, you know, and I mean, <laughs> well, you, yeah, it's not it's not where you thought it was going to be. Right. It's stunning. But the I'm other part dig of it around is for we, a second. Um, keep talking. we talked about that. This this was. Um, this is not a beginner knit. It's no. definitely more of an advanced knit right. because of all like the seaming and the saddle shoulder and um, right. I mean, absolutely. Um, I was trying to find a. I know in here somewhere I have a scarf that matches it, but I can't find it. I was gonna put it oh, on and sure. see what it looked like. Sure. Because since we've been oh, talking right, that, right. Well, but. I was wondering, like, maybe if I knit one mm -hmm. and oh, brought your oh, eye yeah, up there sure. and, like, it would be garter yeah. and do it. I mean, yeah. Uh, like I, that. I know, I'm already going, can I have this to knit? Yeah, we could, so we could just um, cake it up. Yeah, and you can have, right, oh, right. Okay. This yeah. is probably not enough. I don't know if it's, mm, we could wait. But anyways, it we'll cake be. it up. Oh, so beautiful. But, but I think if I right. had a little scarf, I think then right. I would feel it would take my eye up there. Okay, we'll press like With perfection, right? Now, so now I love it. You're like now you because, like the skin and right, the, yeah. right. So this is the little projects Jackie oh. scarf, and the Jackies are a little longer. Mm -hmm. Another like, one of our favorite favorites. Right, yeah. like oh, right? that one is so beautiful. I don't remember seeing and that one. And this is a length that you could tie it as oh, a belt too. Yeah. Like you can put it in your belt loops yeah. if you want to. Yeah. But anyways, and you could. This one's long enough that you could do the tie like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like we do for scarves yeah. sometimes. Oh, yes. So and then good. just have it hang. That's so good. Oh my God, I do love this knit with. <laughs> I love that you discovered this while on right. camera. So well, good. So come sit with me. I know. I just want, I was oh. trying to get oh. them to see the right. sweater. So this is the Penelope T, not mm. a beginner knit, um, but definitely beautiful. And yes. as always, it's fun to accessorize. I do have it with high waisted jeans. So, because it would be, you with lower cut jeans, you would see your belly. Right. So, right. Mm. and it just, just because this is sort of the twigs episode, yes. I feel like Caitlin, you need to oh. talk about what you're wearing too. Oh my gosh. So if you have This is figured... two friends, by the way, this brand. Oh, this brand that I'm wearing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, two friends that- Yeah, the no. name is oh, Bosch and B-A e is one friend's name and S-H is the other. Oh, Can't, that's like cute. Barbara and Shannon, oh, let's make it up. Cute. I don't know. Uh, this, is a adorable sweatshirt that again maybe on the hanger you're like why do why do i need an a crew sweatshirt mm, a but crew though. Mm -mm -mm. but the details of this i mean what we were saying is i have wider shoulders sure. and so 
and a large bust. And so certain things like I don't I don't care for crew necks very much because it generally has makes so much fabric here right. for me. Right. But then this detail of this curve and and gathering mm -hmm. and the cropped. Yeah. I, I mean, can you even like it's no, just it's oh, in our little like oh, Parker we... Hatch little mm -hmm. anyway. <laughs> Well, that was that face. It's the, ooh, so good. I yeah. love, like, ooh, I just love that little, like, mm -hmm. bit Top of, of orange. yeah. Um, but no, this, another um, twigs find that we'll be putting, I don't know, I think I need to buy a new suitcase, an right. additional suitcase to get everything home. Right. Um, but I, the details on this are just so beautiful. And I have been looking, I mean, we all have seen this sort of um, sweatshirt, sweat, you know, what athleisure, um, and that's not really my style, but I, but I feel like I just found the perfect sweatshirt yeah, that, that just is the, cropped. The gathers and, look so good with your hair. And I think, um, you know, it'll look good with a little ascot, mm -hmm. right? What's the hashtag, Caitlin? It's hashtag something Scott. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, hold on. No, hold on, no, no it's no, good because no. during the course of the podcast, you will now remember it. Do you know how you so have difficulty? How do you ask? How that? do you ask? Okay. I, how I, do you ask, Kate? How do I? Well, let's let me ask see. that with it. My with okay. my little my own little okay. creation. How, you ask God? how, how do you ask, ask God? I mean, you just need to just tie it and go, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And how fun is that to be able? I mean, do you ever feel like not cheating on your knits, but when you <laughs> when you when you go That's out funny. and you're not wearing cheating on your knees when you're not wearing <laughs> right wear. exactly like you hussy right? you're shameless I'm sorry or or you want to figure out a way to bring your like you want like oh it's a 90 degrees but you still carry the shawl with you because you think like maybe right. you'll wear it or whatever right. um this to me is such a perfect way right. um the other way you know like you said i love um my, these don't have it okay. yeah i love just also Me like too. if i have something just on and i just do that right oh, and how so fun cute. is that right like absolutely simple little burst little of color bow. yeah um so there's another way to if ask you haven't figured out how obsessed we are with these you soon will but mm -hmm. anyway just absolutely and love by it. the end of the podcast she'll know the hashtag and so will you how do you ask god <laughs> there we go i think i got it okay. I, you know what it is it's the being put on the spot like right. when you when you know you need to remember somebody's name and you know it and you immediately right. so when you oh, go totally. so what's the hashtag caitlin it's like and it, the steel door right. shuts <laughs> and and here's the teacher in me mm -hmm. i am i'm not trying to trap you in a non-knowing mm -hmm. i am trying to have you encounter grabbing it again and having it be okay to grab it again and then you've grabbed that name so many times that it's just it'll be with you okay because it's a loving thing it's not let me expose caitlin because i'm the same way oh like, sure oh, i know i, I know like you can't like, remember somebody's name and it's like so yeah no we're trying to put it in i know you're, yes you're being very and gentle in your non non-gentle non jackie way but totally and totally. they're probably feeling sympathy for you as they watch like poor caitlin how jackie puts her on the spot oh there's her little bow okay so that was some sexy lacy bits no it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was wait, saying. Wait, can wait, I... wait, wait, wait. They're thinking poor Caitlin, and then their sense of compassion is triggered, and then they'll oh. remember the well, ascot okay. too. Oh, that's good. Sympathy for like, Caitlin. Um, do you remember, um, isn't there some children's story where, or song that's like, do you wear it as a mustache, a bow, or a tie? Do you remember I that? I don't know, but that's but I, When I just one. did that, that like oh, triggered a little yeah, thing. Yeah, that's cute. Anyway. Um, so that is the Penelope T. That is the Penelope T. That is Caitlin's new sweatshirt. I'm, I'm her shedding. official, like, I know. I yeah, but I love, like, look, look at, at this her shoulder. Out. I know. I like it with a little I something. Know. Like, it's really good. Yeah. Sorry, that's it's the really tag, good. You but... just made a, a discovery. I yeah. love it. I love that. This scarf. color. Yeah. Is... That color is so good. Mm -hmm. That is I'm, yours. I'm not going to bow it, but, but I am going to bow it because I feel like it. Oh. Ugh. And then, oh, like, yeah. a jacket with this yes. peeking out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got the... Mm -hmm. All right, I'm bringing in one more object to share mm. just because they're sort of, like, look at the color. Watch this and you'll see why. Mm. Right? 
Like it doesn't it kind of yeah, fit. Yeah, it's so good. So this is it's like French circus esque. <laughs> okay, this is where look at oh it's in here. This is my little key fob. <laughs> Did you even know it was in there? No, I oh. know because I've been using it. And this yeah. is where I put my phone. Yep. And I don't have anything for these at this point. But this is from Pittsburgh Mercantile. So and cool. it is my new, like, favorite bag. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just so, amazing. like, mm, so cute, right? Yeah. And I just wanted to point it out because it is also, like her sweatshirt, it's a crew mm -hmm. and it's twill. And then these are little bits of leather. And I just think it's and the, is the inside just open. Yeah. Oh, and it's so sturdy. Right? So mm -hmm. there's the inside. Yeah, I love so that. So I think it's a great book knitting project. And you can wear it over your shoulder. And you can wear it over your shoulder mm. so I can bring my phone and my headphones yeah, and all that kind so of stuff. Perfect. So I just wanted to share that because it's, it's just, also a great project bag if you wanted to put your notions in and like all yes. your like you could put your needles in there. Yeah, and you could have needles right here too. Easily. Yeah. Wait, so, I'm curious. Oh, well. What does she I, want to do? Well, I'm curious um, if this would be <gasps> tight enough to put oh. your lipstick there. Or, sorry, just a oh. second. Hold on, everybody. Hold the sorry phone. for all of the, Hold the, the, phone. the loud sounds. You know what's coming. They'll get the idea. Oh, so cute. Right? You have yes. your little bow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, though, oh. it might hold your lipstick. You know, it's oh. just a little like you oh, know. It's no. a, oh, no! Oh, because it it does have a bottom. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a tie. So. But cute. it's another. But of course, what Caitlin did really mean. Where's your purple one or your green one? For your little burst of color. Yeah. Is more like this. Oh, so good with it. But, but now she she has, the hashtag down. Yes. Hashtag. How do you ask God? Mm -hmm. So yes. good. Yeah. So good. Yes. Yeah, so how do you ask God? Yeah. But. On other topics, Caitlin has a whip that she mm. would like to talk about. I and would. We would like to hear about. I would love to talk about this. So I um, have been, this is not a long, um, like, old flame knit, but I mean, I almost wonder, like, what's the um, the time period for something to become an old flame? I feel like this, this um, knit has been in my head kind of like when, well, it's, when been, it, it's been a year at least it's over a year over a year okay right. so that's a long time right that I just haven't been quite ready haven't been quite ready and um because it does feel sort of like an epic knit right um Sorry, I'm just and trying. I'm just gonna find um it's an epic pronunciation Have it you is figured I, that well out here's yet? the other thing I keep blanking on the name of the pattern or how to spell it it's the Sirocco cardigan and that's C I. O R C A L. If I had show them the and word too when you I finish. will I'll find it. But here is the uh, pattern designer and her name is Al Albiani. I I can't mm -hmm. say her name either. Um, here I want them to see the word. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll link it below. Um, mm -hmm. But it is. Um, I'm just going to show some aspects of the pattern it's basically an a fabulously intriguing design to me in that you are knitting a circle so mm -hmm. if you have ever knit a circular shawl so completely a circle mm -hmm. you start with the center there's like you can barely see right there there's the center mm -hmm. and you are working mm -hmm. concentric circle out from there so and then you do this fascinating construction which i guess is just like um sock heels. Cu sock, cutting in a sock heel mm -hmm. so you add a little bit of extra uh scrap yarn for you know one of these wedges and then you do it you know on the other side and then you come back and unravel that uh that yarn and you have two sets of live stitches where so you pick up your needles and you're knitting circularly in the round on the sleeves um and then you go or whatever order you do it, it has at least a foot of two by two ribbing that becomes this incredible shawl collar. Um, and that's for me what I've been drawn to with this design. I, I mean, come mm. on. Wow. I mean, who doesn't want wow. that shawl draping? 
Caitlin, Caitlin, and it was it was Jackie. So Jackie Kiala and and Kazarina girl who are um, patrons of ours who we we you have, must follow. Yes, you should follow. We'll we'll link them below. Um, but they came on one of our Patreon zooms, and Jackie was talking about the knit. And um, and then Kazarina girl was inspired by Jackie's knit, so she knit it. I have to say I am absolutely enamored with what, how um, how Kazar. I hope I'm not saying her name. I don't know her first name, but how she styled her knit. First of all, she's extremely fabulous in everything that she knits. Um, but she, that what's fascinating about this design is you can see how it's can mm, be worn very mm, long mm. and drapey in the back mm -hmm. but then it's this got this fabulous additional thing you can do Show so me. there's one that's the version of you can see like that is all the ribbed wow. um so it's quite an epic knit i think you have over 700 stitches mm. on oh, look for at two this. by two ribbing so another way that she's styled it love her i mean she's belt. just amazing in how she styles everything but what there's another version. Wow. Um, my favorite version is this version. And so you have to think like, okay, I just showed you how long and drapey that was in the back. So what happens is you can flip the entire thing over and the sleeves still fit, but everything gets sort of hiked up higher so that you have a little bit of a swing, swing. coat and deep shawl. Incredible. Like there's the flipped over version. Do you see how cropped it is compared so to what I showed versatile. you? Right? I mean, wow. right? So anyway, um, both of these women totally inspired this knit for me. And so I am knitting it out of Lamb and Kid Todd. So yak and cashmere mm -hmm. <laughs> in the kitten colorway. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how fitting is kitten colorway for something Her, so right. cozy um so this is an absolute luxury dream knit um what i what i find so fascinating about knitting with todd is it does have sort of a i wouldn't say rustic feel to it but i think it's the yak while oh. you're knitting it can i that, is it possible to put my arms in it i or think no? so no i think so because it doesn't you yeah. can't with no, what you can. you're wearing yeah Let's have you do it. This will be the short version. Okay. And just, I literally finished one of the sleeves last night. Oh, I will talk about some okay. of that aspect too. Okay. Um, just watch your ring. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So this is probably the flipped version where it would be very cropped, but, and you see, you can see the circle and then basically there are wedges and then you're just increasing as you go on these wedges, so every fourth row, you are increasing on both sides of the wedge. Um, you guys, I like this. She likes this, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I intentionally, I mean, she her, her um, pattern does call for a really deep, long cuff like this. Um, anyway, it's, so what is interesting is because, I think that I will wear the flipped cropped way and what I didn't think about is I did my, she wasn't very specific, she was sort of specific about the decreases and mm -hmm. how you start the sleeves, but I, I think I did so it. Could... Oh, is that what you're doing? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, I, um, I will leave it, leave it yeah, on or no, take it off. Leave it on, it's fine. Okay. So um, anyway, I'm mar these are my way of keeping track of my decreases so that when I did the second sleeve, you can match that up. That's one of those knitter tricks. Um, and I just have to embrace the fact that the decreases are going to show on the top of the sleeve, whereas usually you have them. Yeah, but they could be decorative. Exactly. So that is the one downside of flipping it is there's no way to hide the seam. Um, it's it's so anyway not so needing to be hidden. Right. Anyway, but you can see the construction of like here are the wedges. It's beautiful. Um, and then, so what I was saying about what I love about Todd is it does kind of have a little bit of a toothiness as you're knitting it. But when you block this, mm. it is the drapiest, softest, like you, there, there's no toothiness to right. it. And trust me, I, this is just me being crazy and like, right, because I have soft. no idea what she's talking about like when feel, she says. Well, do, it has like, 
Okay, yeah. so what it reminds me of is a woman who's smart. It just has intelligence to it. Sure. So it's okay. really intelligent. That's what I was feeling. Right. And then when you <laughs> drape it, sure, it's very soft and sensuous, but it's very smart. Yeah. I, all I'm, the word I guess would be my, smart. I not... guess my point is mm -hmm. that sometimes you knit something and you, you block it and it doesn't really change. Mm. Todd does change. Okay. So right. It's so amazing right now, but the drapiness and the bloom factor right. that happens when you right. wet block it right. is is what to right. me makes the garment. And not only that, but it also is. I think it's it's got structure to it. So yeah. if this was cabled, because the, the part of the pattern you could cable, um, you you could cable the the neckline or you could rib it so there's lots mm -hmm. of options some people have put lace work in it so mm -hmm. it's a really versatile pattern not sure exactly how long it's going to take me 12 plus inches of two by two ribbing so you may see this as a whip for a very long time but i'm okay with that mm -hmm. because i feel like i can knit in between and it could be like my half wrap where i'm like let me do one row of ribbing a night right. you know right. absolutely so that is um my current whip and I'm so in love with it. I can't. And it's a it's a really easy knit. And like all things, Lamb and Kid, thank you for yes. the yarn support yes. on yarn that support project for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and it is um the her cut. I mean the thing about um, Lamb and Kid, we've talked about it before. Not all of her colors are dyed to order colors. She has mill dyed colors. So this kitten is something that's generally always available. You can call the store, you mm -hmm. can go online. Um, and and she, you don't well, have to she's wait. She's been running sweater quantity specials yeah. and she also has her matinees, which yeah. each month there's a particular color of yeah. Todd that goes on sale. Yeah. So keep your eye out for those sales. But I will just say her yarn is definitely the fiber itself is a gigantic piece of the story. Oh, for sure. And but we you could easily get distracted by how incredible her colors are. Yeah. But the fibers are amazing. Well, and the other thing about this pattern is that it was originally knit on Nutiden, held mm -hmm. double, which people, Jackie, I know you're one of them. Carmen, I know you're one of them, um, who absolutely has an obsession with Nutiden. Mm -hmm. And so that's the other thing that I'm really drawn to about this knit. I didn't talk about it. She's really, the designer's really kind of vague and also like very open about how what right. kind of weights yarn she right. the way she structure, structures her pattern is based on sort of your gauge and a lightweight version a midweight option and a right. heavyweight option so i and she also recommends not gauge swatching ahead of time she says start the project and just see where you are yeah. and then decide That's because fine. you can really um knit for a little while before you have to like oh, I'm stopping at this set of increases because of this is my size. So you have plenty of time to figure out what your gauge is and then decide, oh, I'm knitting midway third size or I whatever. I want to do, like, can you imagine doing it in Big Birdie and oh. all the ribbing is one color oh, and the circle is sure. another color? Oh my God, it'd like be incredible. Like her tonals, totally. you know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. So my other point is that some of the yarn that has been used for this is, is uh, Camaro's Snefnug, which is also a very cozy, like it's, it's a tube that the, the, fiber is blown into it's a really economical yarn mm -hmm. and it's super super cozy so there are so many options for this mm -hmm. um you know I obviously have wonderful yarn support from Sarah so I chose to do it in Todd but it's a really versatile pattern that way where if somebody wanted it to be that rustic quality you could definitely has do anybody that. done it as a stash buster yet where they just so. stripe out their colors i think they have mm -hmm. um there's definitely options to do super fun things with it or like use something like noro that maybe changes throughout sure. or absolutely it's, you know i i personally want it to be a classic piece that is so neutral i could throw it on and you know what else i could do i could put an ascot on with it how do you ask God? How do Caitlin? you ask God? How do you ask God, Jackie? Exactly. How do you? Um, anyway. <laughs> that's so great. And we have not, you know, 
Rhinebeck's coming up. Yes. We, I think we said we'd talk Rhinebeck, but we're not talking Rhinebeck not yet. Not today. Not today. Yeah. We have, cause we, we're still contemplating our designs um, of what we want to knit and, and what we're thinking about. But one of the things we have really been uh, just talking about is how to make it really approachable even for us. Cause obviously we're crazy obsessed knitters and this is our Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. um, but how do we make it so that it's just sort of not as hyped for us and just be in the moment of it. And, you know, could we just be wearing a beautiful ascot and that's enough? And the answer is yes. yes. Um, so <laughs> come as you are. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, that, and, and embrace and enjoy the human being. Well, and that's one of the reasons why we're really excited about doing a um, an ascot or scarf along um, is that it's just so, I mean, you could spend four hours making this and you're done and you're part of this community yeah. of knitters that wanted to like, you know, be, show up for each other, you know, and, 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 and enjoy right. that. You could make little let from your leftovers of your half wrap. You totally. Could make oh my gosh. They'd be so great mm -hmm. and drapey and linen mm -hmm. quills. So, um, there is, um, there are a lot of options that way. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it has been <laughs> lovely spending time yes, with you. Yes. We want to and thank you. Yes. It's been lovely spending, spending time, time with you. you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And thank you for all of your beautiful comments from before. Oh, yes. And we did want to offer an opportunity to you because I am so excited to be working at Twigs. We yeah. wanted to offer something for all oh, of right. you. So what we thought we'd do so that you could have a chance to kind of explore Twigs for yourself is we are going to get a, a gift, gift certificate for you to choose something from Twigs. And all you need to do is comment below about a piece that you saw that Caitlin's sporting. And Sorry. Or you. Or me. I guess yeah, I had my yeah, jacket on yeah. that you really liked. Yeah. You know, which which one was your favorite piece? Which one spoke piece? to you? Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Absolutely. And then we'll draw a winner and you can check out some of their um, items. Yeah. Anything. For sure. Yeah. So thank you yeah. again. It's so and much fun. Yeah, we don't want to go. I know. I just well, want to hang out a little bit. Okay, well, more. we can hang out. I mean, like, <laughs> we can talk things. Yeah, I do I need to start. I need to, you know, it's funny because you were in this place before the transition, and I, I do have my half wrap over there, which you just want, maybe you can just grab from me. Mm -hmm. um, because I am in that transition between projects. Oh, because mm -hmm. this one took a lot longer than I thought. I yeah. mean, it took a month, but. For a t-shirt, it seems like a long time. I'm yeah. in the middle of a row. And because of all the transitions, I think this is mustard yellow, which mm -hmm. you've seen for a while now. I literally changed the color three times on my second half. Um, and this is my original choice. Yeah. And I just, I'm going- And what's the second choice? What's this color? This color is opal, lavender opal, lavender opal mm -hmm. and it's just a softer, it's more of a soft gray lavender. Yeah. I beautiful. mean, it is actually lavender. It reads gray on here. Right? It does, but I have a feeling once we publish it, it'll look exactly right back there. It definitely has a, right. But yeah, it's such a shape shifter color because mm -hmm. like, right. Up close. It right. And so this is literally this functions in my life as um the all the time knitting we yeah. were walking yesterday though we went for a walk and caitlin <laughs> had on her big fluff yeah and i had on my half wrap and it it was kind of like it was fun to see our staple shawls taking a walk together yeah. and i still <laughs> haven't so i really do need to knit and want to knit a big fluff so yes i know it's just mm -hmm. sort of you're waiting for the perfect, mm -hmm. um, well, you're waiting for a hand dyed collection to come through that will be available, for, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Your so, yours. anyways, we have some things on our needles, but I, I, what I was trying to say is it does take energy to start a new project. It's it does. It's so funny to wreck, it takes energy to end oh. a project oh. and to start a project. Oh, And yes. this is, this is the helpful thing. Totally. In that transition. Well, and that's why I feel like these ascots were the same. I mean, I probably went mm -hmm. almost two weeks without an intentional knit on my needles. Right. I was like, okay, well, I mean, I knew I wanted to knit the Sirocco, Sirocco, and I, but I, there was something about it. I just knew it was going to be hard to start. And, and on that uh, vein, 
Um, I will say I will link in my project notes two videos that I found helpful because starting a circular piece mm -hmm. is definitely a specific technique that mm -hmm. I had never done before. And I found one video that was very helpful to me. And then she actually transitioned to, um, what do we call that term when you're, when you're, Oh, magic loop, magic loop. So we magic, we do like a magic loop variation of like having mm -hmm. long needles and like pulling mm -hmm. them through. But magic loop is very specific and intentional on in how you do things. And the second video that I followed from the same person was so helpful for me to start with when you have eight stitches and you need to be knitting in the round and you're not going to be using double points like this was the this helped me do this pattern so mm -hmm. um i always appreciate it when other people link in their show notes little yeah, videos little and videos things like that help. so i will i don't have it yet but i will i will load it in there and i i found it to be super helpful and caitlin was here and jamie made oh yes blueberry pie <gasps> and cherry pie so we were able to have a wedge of blueberry a wedge oh. of cherry kind of like the opposite way mm -hmm. and then giant pile of vanilla ice cream in the middle custard right? how did right. ice, cream. Ice, cream. ice cream yeah it was ice cream oh so how did you feel about that well i then? have to say that um it is very hard to be on the non-receiving end of the, all the baking that goes on in this household and I just see you posted and so, and or sorry not sorry yeah sometimes somebody calls me and on FaceTime and shows me what she's eating which yeah. is not very nice no, so I you know. can I'm this sharing. Is the, I'm but sharing. this is the section of poor Caitlin again yeah. like this oh. is where anyway Let's do it just so oh poor, poor Caitlin, Caitlin. And Does that feel good? That felt so good. <laughs> and I was in the kitchen with Jamie, and I saw that she had started some pie, um, you know, processes. She had a huge bowl of blueberries that were um, covered in sugar, macerating. <laughs> oh. Is that the yeah? And and I was like, Jamie, is it possible that I'll be able to get some piece of pie before I go home? And she's like, Yeah, no, it's totally possible. And then 30 seconds later, she started getting out all the ingredients. I'm pretty sure she was doing it for me, or that's how I'm going to interpret it. And then I got a one-on-one -on -one Jamie pie lesson. So I mean, I've oh. seen her videos before, oh, but. but I got to watch her do it, and I will say I am so empowered to make pie crust when I go home. Jamie is such a good teacher, and she just uploaded on Sally's channel, and we'll link it in our show notes, of her cherry pie, which was from farm to table. She literally videotaped herself in Door County, in Door County where like they have Door County cherries and she picked the cherries and she talks all about the things and then she walks you through the entire pie making process. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to tune into that. Mm -hmm. um, if you're at all interested in learning how to make pie and or just watching somebody else eat right. delicious pie. So the other thing I need to say is that August is my birthday month yes. and I do celebrate all month and I'm listening to you and I'm realizing that one of our traditions, aside from having BLTs and oh, aside yeah. from having, I mean, it's such a great month. Like one of your birthday, birthday traditions? Yes. Oh, okay. Another one of our traditions for my birthday is peach pie. Oh. Because the Idaho mm. peaches come into season. Mm. So that will be the next. Is that happening? Well, the, oh, it's soon. It's soon. It's I don't think month. it'll happen in your visit. That's okay. I think it'll happen next week. I weekend. had blueberry and cherry. And and the question okay. that people want to ask is, what's your favorite? Mm. And we're not going to answer that. Why? Well, because. Well, okay, okay, fine. Why, well, why, wait, why, why do you say we're not going to answer that? I feel like that? that stops your thinking. So I think. Like What's the, one of your favorite? I mean, no, why is that no, like? Okay, okay, let me explain. Yeah. Because it's better to say, what did you love about the pies? Oh, my gosh. And right. so I will say that I love a cherry. I love yeah. the round. I love the size of a sour cherry. Mm -hmm. I love the glossy roundness. Yeah. I love biting into one. Like, for instance, this is so not interesting. Sun Gold tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Same thing. I love so much, but I like to slice those oh, in half no. before I eat them. No. But I like to bite into a sour cherry, but I don't like to bite into a Sun Gold tomato. For somebody who really didn't want to share their favorites, seems like you had, like, in your pocket, like, let me tell you all of the things well, about that, a cherry. I yeah. did. I did. Well, that's what I loved about the cherry. What did right. you love about the blueberry? 
Well, I here's what I will say. You, I what I loved as I was surprised by how much I loved the cherry. Oh, that's right, because you because, said you don't like. Yeah, cherry. so th I I feel like there's I, I don't know. I am if I was gonna choose a dessert, pie is not usually the first thing I would. Choose. I know it's not. I'm more of a cake frosting kind of gal. Oh, interesting. What's that? Face? I just didn't know that. No. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. So, um, I've always found cherry pies to be a little bit too tart for my liking. Mm -hmm. And so, there goes the street cleaner. Thank you, Madison Street Cleaner. Uh -huh. um, but this one was so perfect because I think she sweetened it a little bit more than oh. whatever. Because I think what Sally said is you she you had another pie and it was a little bit too tart, so she was airing on the side of sweeter. So that oh. then I was like, oh my gosh, this is how I like my cherry pie. So I did mm. discover that. Right. Um, but <coughs> blueberry pie is so low <coughs> maintenance compared to I, cherry. I though. would say blueberry pie is generally my favorite <clears throat> fruit pie, but. It doesn't matter what my favorite oh. is because it's all about Jamie's crust. I know, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, just there it goes back again. and forth. Hi, Super guys. clean. Um, anyway, uh, Jamie's crust is off the charts amazing. I have never had a better crust anywhere. Mine, we do, you know this, but some of you, there was somebody who just watched for the first time yeah. last episode. My sister is a pie goddess. Yes. So I Jamie live is with a pie goddess. And whenever I need a little magic in my life, it's like, Jamie, Jamie, will you make pie? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we love you, Jamie. We mm -hmm. love your pies. We love your crust. And so appreciate mm -hmm. your gifts. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I did make you biscuits. Oh my gosh, yes. You, she made me fresh homemade Butter right out of the biscuits. oven. Oh, and we so, spread oh. avocado on it. I, are we hungry? And yeah, sun gold tomatoes and basil. Oh, so good. And it's just like mm, mm. warm. Mm. We're hungry. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna segue to maybe lunch or breakfast for us. So yeah. um, thank you so much for joining us. Again, thank you to our patrons. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, we do have a Patreon account that we have linked below. If you are so inclined and would like to support our channel, even with a dollar a month, mm -hmm. it goes a long way for us to create content for you because without it, we would not be doing able to do this. So, um, so even as low as a dollar a month makes a huge difference for us. And we can, we, we are thrilled and we, you know, think about the content we want to bring to you. I we think it's share. like an energetic high five. Not that, yes. you're but it's totally invitational and not required. At not all. at all. We, we are so happy and thrilled to put out free content for people, but um, it is work for us. And we so appreciate those of you that um, recognize that aspect and recognize that um, your part makes it possible for us to create more content for you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and what's that what's our hashtag our hashtag is <laughs> how do you ask god you, she got it do you guys she got it i got it how do you ask god how do you ask god i, I well, can't now wait, i'm wait. saying it like how do you yeah. ask scott how do you ask scott <laughs> scott wait, I, can we put a wait can you put question marks in a in a hashtag Have no you, you can't how do you ask scott i don't know it'd be kind of cute how I'd do you like ask it. Scott? i'd like to the visual of it anyway how do you it's, ask God? Well, you don't have to sound so boring, but how do you ask God? Yeah, okay, fine. How do you ask God? How, how, how do, do you, you ask, ask God? God? How do you ask God? <laughs> okay, people are probably so freaking annoyed. We can't now. wait to see how you ask God. We so can't wait. So, <laughs> so use anyway, the hashtag. Yeah, please use the hashtag. Start, po start, start posting. And for those of you that aren't like you know, tuned into what a, a hashtag really is or wh how no. it's important. Like, so if you're on Instagram and you use this hashtag, um, anytime somebody posts it with that hashtag, you can start following it and it'll pop in your feed. And so like, you can be like, oh, look at her cute ascot. Mm -hmm. So it's a really fun way to create community and, and, and inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, why, still... and why hashtag? Because it's just as important for you to be seen sure. and celebrated. And yeah. so other people can see your making and your joy, yeah, et cetera. Absolutely. And it's not vanity. No. We want to see yeah, you. Yeah, totally. And I, I mean, I still follow 
hashtag so half anytime, wrap nation yeah well half wrap nation but really anytime i knit something i always start following the hashtag because i love seeing other people's inspiration because mm -hmm. maybe it'll be something right. i haven't knit hashtag yet. penelope t right hashtag totally Ellsworth i mean shawl. i'm the, bad at that i, get, I need to do a better i get job. the lune shawl i mean and every time i'm like oh look at that like even if it's something i knit a year ago mm -hmm. it's so fun to see and mm -hmm. that's a really nice way to get inspiration um, for your knit. So yeah, there's and, your little Instagram. And selfishly, it's it's wonderful when you're inspired and you mm -hmm. make something because we made it yeah. and then you show us. Yeah. We're thrilled to yeah, see Yeah, and that. we love reposting it for other people to see. So that's the beauty of the hashtag. I think it took us a while to sort of figure that piece out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's where it's at. Okay. So anyway, we're going to go eat some brunch. Okay. And, and we love you all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. thank and you. We'll see you soon. And definitely comment below mm -hmm. what item did you like from Twigs? And that will enter you in a gift from us, which we are so happy to mm -hmm. share yes. because Jen is truly a gift. Yes. And we can't wait for you to get to know her. Yes. All right. Yes. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.